Hamilton and United Breweries and Datsun are bringing you Seven Tall of Fame, live from the Leonda Ballroom in Hawthorne. We hope our side is matching up with yours at home and vice versa, and I dare say we've probably started quite a few arguments as well. Let's proceed with our nominations now for the half-forward flank, and haven't we seen some brilliant half-forward flankers in the past 25 years? Our final three nominations came down to these. From Hawthorne, Graham Arthur. From St Kilda, Daryl Baldock. And from Carlton and St Kilda, Alex Jeselenko. Graham Arthur is a man no Hawthorne fan could ever forget. He led the Hawks to their very first premiership in 1961. In fact, he has captained Hawthorne longer than any other man in the club's history. Arthur was recruited as a young 18-year-old from Bendigo Club Sandhurst back in 1955 and won Hawthorne's Best and Ferris Trophy in his first year with the club. In his 13-year association with Hawthorne from 1955 to 1968, he played 237 games, the highlight of which would have to be that hard-earned premiership flag in 1961. Darrell Baldock played only 120 games for St Kilda in the mid-60s, yet his name still commands an awesome reverence some 30 years after he worked his magic. He was lured from Tasmania in 1962, was named captain of the Saints in 1963, and in 1966 was clutching St Kilda's first Premiership Cup after a thrilling duel with Collingwood. A short, balding and rather stout half-forward, Bulldog was a magnificent ball handler who could create his magic at ground level or soar over the pack for a spectacular mark. Alex Jeselenko. The name is enough to conjure up visions of magnificent skyscraper marks and impossible angle goals. It's a name that's revered wherever football is played in this land. Since his first match back in 1967, Jezza has displayed rare versatility. He became the first Carlton player ever to kick 100 goals in 1970. Yet in 1975, won his first best and fairest for the Blues as a tight-checking half-back. It's strange to imagine him in anything but the navy blue of Carlton. But Jezza is destined to finish his career a saint. Still doing the impossible, but maybe not as often. Our half-forward flankers. Ron Casey opens the envelope. And the first of them. On one half forward flank, Daryl Bulldock. Uh, Daryl cannot be here this evening, so we would ask if we could Vernon Howe to come up and accept the trophy for him. Daryl, of course, has progressed to the parliamentary situation in Tasmania, and his parliamentary business is keeping him from being here tonight. So we welcome Vernon Howe. Vernon, you played alongside and with the great man for many games. Tell us about the magic of this man. Well, I think it was an inspiration to play uh, with two great players. Uh, and of course, being a Tasmanian, I've got to get a bit of a Tasmanian right. record. It was uh, Ian Stewart and Darrell Bordock that they used to work, work football magic at St Kilda when we really needed it, of course. But uh, Darrell um, is well known for his football prowess. He was a great leader. Uh, he was a great inspiration of all the players at St Kilda and I think that uh, Darrell's name you know is one that will live not for 25 years but for a little longer than that. He was a great dry weather player but would you say that he was an even better player in the wet? I think Darrell's a great four days of his strength I think you saw on your replays there just how he could shrug off players with a bigger statue and, and the way he could sort of command the ball and had the great ability to put his head over the ball which takes a lot of courage but he was such a great ball player and had the ability and the courage to back up his tremendous reading of the play. Uh, Ian Stewart and Darrell Bordock used to be something to really watch. I uh, used to stand at fullback and <laughs> didn't get very much work some days because they would just command the game so brilliantly it was worth seeing. Thurden, thank you for joining us on behalf of Darrell Bordock, half forward flanker on Sevens Hall of Fame. Well, Verdon said Darrell was really something to watch. Let's relive a few memories of the great Darrell Baldock in action. Here he is. Half forward where Potter goes for it. Baldock also beating them all in. Down on the ground. Oh, oh look at play. that beautiful fork. He's kicked up to Waters. Waters the hand pass to Johnson. It was a good football. Baldock comes in trying to get the ball away for St Kilda. As he's found the goal area now. Picked up by Baldock. He gets the goal. Well, he can't pick it up. It's over towards Baldock. Baldock tackled by Gillard. But look at this boy go. A left footer at goal. Kurokovsky has it, his kick was smothered, struggle up towards Bulldog, and look at this fella go, he's brilliant, he took the umpire and all. Turn, put the big kick, puts it up towards Austin, he can't mark it, Bulldog's got it, Mr Magic himself, here he comes, he's messing around with that, he 
grabs it this time. He spins around, puts it on the ground once. But has a shot with his left foot. Lovely pressed by Pryor. Pryor comes through very solidly there. Puts Stewart on the ground. Bulldog picks up. He's, He's ready to ball off. by Egan. No free kick. Bulldog. Oh, Turn back. Well played. Darrell Griffiths is in everything. There's his kick down towards Bulldog. It's Bulldog. Oh, no. He's never played it. Oh, God. He could easily come off, Bullock comes out the middle, Farman's with him, in they go, Farman has the set, Bullock is still battling on, he's grabbed, Bullock is still going, the Saints skipper steadies, he shoots further downfield, this pays who came in to fill the full forward position, a pick up here, uh, sends the ball forward and it looks like Bullock, he threw himself forward. Well, some say they had to change the rules to beat Daryl Baldock, our first half-forward flanker, and Ron, our second. So 